Hello and welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DetailLeonard.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to make withdrawals from the Bybit exchange. And this is um, because a student actually re requested for this, so I'm going to walk you through how to do this. And the reason for requesting for withdrawal was because um, um, he wanted to know how to actually sell his crypto, most especially his USDT to his bank account using the P2P option. And if I come in here to buy uh, crypto with the buy bid exchange, P2P is yet to be launched in Nigeria, but this is functional for some other countries. Um, some other countries, yeah, this is functional, but in Nigeria, it is yet to be launched. So there is need for you to be able to withdraw your funds from the buy bid to another exchange where you can sell it directly to your bank account. So there are a few reasons why we actually use Bybit. In case you are seeing this video and you don't have a Bybit account already, link will be in the video description to actually sign up for Bybit. And one of the major reasons is because of fees. You know, when it comes to trading crypto, if you want to trade um, crypto, you want to go into day trading and the rest. What first thing you need to consider is the fees that some of these exchanges charges. And Bybit is one of the that exchange that charges the lowest fee out there in the market. So it is assumed that you already have an account. If you don't have one, then link will be in the video description to sign up for an account and you stand to gain um, up to $3,500 dollars as um, you know when you make a, a particular amount of deposit into the exchange. So you can make up to that amount if as a new um, a new sign up or so. So to be able to make withdrawals from the buy bid, once you log into your account, already I've logged into my account. So once you log into your account, you want to come in here to this menu here and click on it. And once you click on this menu, you want to go to where it says assets. So this is where you want to go. You click on asset and then want to go to the spot account. So I'll go ahead and open that up and that will open up on a new tab. So here you come and you see every details on your spot account. So you see all of the balance that you have here on your spot account. In this case, we want to be withdrawing BTC. The same thing applies to whether you want to withdraw USDT or any token at all you have here that you want to withdraw. You can just go ahead and click on, you know, follow these steps and just go ahead and withdraw. So in order to make withdrawals here, I'll just go ahead and click on withdraw. And here, if your account is um, just created or you, since you created the account, if you have not initiated any withdrawal yet, then before you can actually do that, you need um, to enable one of these two factor authentication. Already my email is verified, so I need to enable the Google authenticator. So if I, 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 I'm able to enable this, I will be able to make, um, you know, make withdrawals from the exchange. So all I just need to do um, is to go ahead and click on this confirm to enable the security check all right so once i click on confirm it brings us to this interface and as you can see here i need to enable sms authenticator or you know google two-factor authenticator so um what i can do now is to go ahead and enable sms authenticator or let me just use the google authenticator so i go to settings so once I click on settings, it pops up. We need to send a verification code to our email that we register with. So I'll go ahead and click on send. Once I click on send verification code, this will pop up. So we just go ahead and drag this. You can click on this to drag or you just click on it here to drag. Drag it to this um, space here. So once we do that, um, the email has been sent. So we'll just go ahead and copy the code from my email and input it here. So here is the email. I'll just go ahead and copy this email. So once I paste the e, um, the code here, the code we copied from the email, once I paste it here, I'll go ahead and click on confirm. All right, so now that we've confirmed this, we need to download Google Authenticator on our phone and then use it to scan this. So the next thing we need to do now is to download the Google Authenticator and then use it. Already I have a Google Authenticator on my phone, so all I just need to do is to open it up, click on the plus button and scan this QR code to be able to, uh, you know, register this on my Authenticator. If you don't have already, you can go to your Play Store or your App Store to download the app and then you just go, the, you know, it is straightforward, just click on the plus icon on the Google Authenticator when you open it up. It will give you the option to scan, use either 
the secret key or use the, the QR code so just click on QR code and scan this code and you are good to go so that is exactly what I'm gonna do now so I've been able to scan that successfully so the next thing I need to do is to enter the code the recent code that is showing on the authenticator so I'll go ahead and enter that I have 082 and then 367 367 so the next thing is just to click on confirm to confirm that if the code is correct that should be able to go through um, I think we have error somewhere so let me try again all right so that went through and um, automatically we are logged out once we do that we are automatically logged out so we need to log in again to confirm this action so i just go ahead and log in so now when we log in we are requested to enter the authenticator code so we'll go ahead and wait for the recent authenticator code to be able to confirm our login so i just go ahead and this is changing 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 and i have a new one so i'll go ahead and enter the new one all right so once that is confirmed we are automatically logged in so now we are now back to our bybit account so the next thing i need to do now is to go ahead and click on this menu again so click on this menu icon go to asset and then go to spot account and that will open up on a new tab again so here we are on the new tab the next thing we need to do now is to go ahead and click on withdraw now before you make withdraw make sure that the funds you want to withdraw are on the spot wallet actually so if i go ahead and click on transfer I can actually transfer funds from wherever I have it from. For instance, from my derivative, select the funds you want to transfer BTC, and I can go ahead and enter um, the amount I want to transfer here. For instance, so I just enter five thousand and then click on confirm. All right. So once the funds are transferred to our spot wallet, we can then go ahead and initiate the withdrawal. So I'll go ahead and click on withdraw. Then once I click on withdraw, I want to select the coin I want to withdraw by selecting USDT. So I'll go ahead and select USDT. So after selecting USDT, you actually have um, both TRC20 and then ERC20, which you want to withdraw. So you can go ahead and uh, TRC20 is always cheaper, but ERC20 is higher. As you can see, the withdrawal fee for the ERC20 will be 10 USDT, but with TRC20, it's just between 1 and 2 USDT. And the next thing we want to do is to first add an address that we want to withdraw to. So you go ahead and click on add an address. If you don't have an address to add already, this is what you need to do first. On the buy bid exchange, you need to add up your address. After adding the address, then you can come back to the withdraw page and withdraw. So here is the wallet address that you will be having here. So if I want to withdraw here, I'll just go ahead and click on add address here. And once I click on add address, it will ask me to select the address I want to add. In this case, it's USDT we want to withdraw. So if it is BTC, you go ahead. Now you choose between the two. If it is um, TRC20 address you want to add or ERC20 address you want to add, any of these that you want to add first, you need to go to the exchange where you want to withdraw these two. And I'm using OKX exchange. So if I go to my OKX exchange, I want to withdraw to my TRC or my ERC20 address. So I'll go ahead and click over over my asset and go ahead and click on deposit. Here on OKS, I'll click on deposit because I want to get the address where I want to make my withdrawals to. So I'll click on deposit. And when I click on deposit, I want to deposit USDT. So when I click on USDT, I can go ahead and select the network I want to withdraw to, either ERC20 or TRC20. So if I click ERC20, for instance, I just click on continue and um, okay i can go ahead and click uh, copy this address then when i come back here to the address um, page on the oks um, on the buy bid exchange i'll go ahead and right click to paste that address i just copied there and i can name this OKX. Um, for instance just name it OKS e erc20 address USDT for instance USDT 
so once i do that the next thing is just to click on confirm and then we enter our authenticator code again to confirm this action zero three seven two zero six so once you enter your code click on confirm and if the code is correct it has been successfully added so we now have our address right here so we we'll go back to our asset by clicking on this button at the top right hand so here we we'll come back to the asset we go and initiate the withdraw again by clicking on withdraw after you click on withdraw you select the asset you want to withdraw after selecting the asset you choose between these two any of this you want to withdraw if it is trc20 make sure that you copy trc20 address from your exchange where you want to withdraw to if it is erc20 make sure you copy the erc20 address from the exchange where you want to withdraw to so at the end of the day because i have already added an address if i just click here i can just select that address that i added here so i select the address and here is where you put in the amount you want to withdraw and this um, bybit is telling you this is what will be charging you to make this withdrawal after that you just click on submit the next page you'll be asked to confirm your um or google authenticator code so just add up your code and you are good to go and then within minutes you see the funds reflecting in the address that you have sent it to and basically those are the step-by-step -step guide on how to make withdrawals from the bybit exchange it is not difficult you just follow this step-by-step -step guide and you are good to go so if you gain value from this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any question then leave your question using the comment section and um, if this is your first time of seeing my videos, a lot of videos about crypto um, trading and investing, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And if you want to get up to 3,500 USDT um, in your first deposit, you know, um, when you sign up newly, then link to sign up with the Bybit will be in the video description. I have other exchanges, Binance and the rest where you can actually sign up. So I'll leave all of those links in the video description. That is it for this video and I'll see you in the next video.